If you're new to Blender, you might want to know the different ways of deleting certain aspects of an object. While in the default object mode, you can just click on an object and press delete on the keyboard or X and D to delete the object. If you try doing that in the edit mode, you'll notice this annoying option shows up. So what sorcery is this? So if you choose to delete a feature from this first section, like a single vertex within this cube, for example, you'll notice that it's deleting together the edges and faces that are latching onto it. Dissolving the vertex on the other hand means deleting only that vertex while keeping the remaining segments and faces still intact. Like it sort of merges all the data that's left around it so it still forms a complete geometry. This can be very useful in a lot of cases in modeling. The same principle still applies to dissolving faces and segments and that's basically it for this section. Also notice that back in the delete section, there's an option to delete faces, delete only edges and faces, and delete only faces which may seem a bit confusing. Deleting faces is only going to delete those selected faces along with the common local edges and vertices that are within it. On the other hand, deleting edges and faces will include these neighboring segments which will in turn delete some of the faces around it. Deleting only faces means it's only going to delete the selected faces without bothering any of the edges. Now for limited dissolve, if you try applying this on a cube, as you can see, nothing happens. What sorcery is this? That's because this option dissolves the selection according to a specified maximum angle that can be edited here in the settings that shows up right after clicking on the option. The default angle is 5 degrees, which again basically means it's going to dissolve the segments that have angles that fall below 5 degrees. Now for the sake of example, I added a cube, got into edit mode, selected everything, right clicked and subdivided it twice, randomized the vertices and cranked up the strength and applied the limited dissolve. Now if I pull this value up and down as you can see here, it dissolves the vertices that fall below the specified angle. Pretty cool right? And for the next option which is collapse edge and faces, it's pretty much self explanatory. It collapses everything you selected. For remove edge loop option, this removes vertices, edges and faces and collapses it with the closest remaining ones. The shortcut for this is holding down control and X. This can be very useful especially when you're cleaning up your model. But having said all this, there's actually a trick to not have to go through this annoying option when you don't have to so you can work faster. All you gotta do is go to github and search for the free auto delete add-on, download the zip file and unpack it, go back to blender, go to edit preferences and in the add-ons tab, click install and search for the unpacked auto delete for blender 2.8. Now I'm using a future version of blender and it still works perfect. Search for the tool back in the add-ons tab and make sure it's on. Expand the tool preferences and go down and click your preferred key that you want to use for the tool by the keyboard tab, which in my case is the delete key. And I would have to uncheck these conflicts with the existing default shortcut keys. And now I can just enjoy pressing X in edit mode if I want the annoying options to pop up and delete if I don't need them. Now for the most important part is you gotta leave a like for this video. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you super awesome ways of cutting into objects. And if you enjoy this type of content, consider subscribing.